SBIC, as a licensed private equity fund manager, the SBA will lend you low-cost government-backed capital to invest in U.S. small businesses. You guys see that? Are you reading that? So the next group of people I'm going to talk about, they're coming off this list right here. The SBIC program, right? It's the U.S. SBA's financial system program, small business investment company, privately owned and managed investment funds that's licensed regulated by the SBA. They use their capital plus funds borrowed with the SBA guarantee to make equity and debt investments in qualifying small businesses. And they go on, they go on. They talk about it. By the way, let's talk about SBICs must invest in. No more than 40% of employees overseas, less than 20 million of tangible net worth, less than 6 million of after-tax income. Anybody here uh, meets those criteria? You've got less than $19 million net worth and less than 6.5 million of after-tax net income, average over previous two years. Probably all of us. Probably all of us. Now, check this out. This is this is why, this is why. This is why I'm here because, hold on, I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to come back to the big screen. What's fascinating to me, right, what's fascinating to me is that everyone here who's bid a government contract, you read and submit these proposals. Anybody submit big proposals? Anybody submit these huge proposals for government? Anybody um, gets 180-page RFQs, RFQs? Anybody? Yeah, Kenny says, yep, anybody. I want to talk to all the people who submit these huge RPs, RFQs, who have to respond in the government, and it's two, it's two freaking binders of stuff. Anybody out here ever submitted one of those before? Yes. Yes, yes. Anybody identify me? Even if you submitted a response that was 20 pages or 15 pages, it, you know, nope, okay. Clarence hasn't been bidding yet. So most of the time when you're responding, unless it's a, uh, just a request for quote and you've got to respond with a written proposal, right? Those are, they can be volumes, hundreds of pages. Um, even when I do my source of sought notices response, sometimes they're eight pages, 10 pages, um, 12 pages at most. Check this out. So here on the SBIC pre-screening process, you're going to submit an executive summary that's roughly three to five pages long and should include a narrative of and a track record section. Three to five pages. That's it. Three to five pages. That's it. Now, let me show you why uh, the SBIC is one of the coolest things that they got going on. And while we cannot particularly qualify for S to be uh, to do this, uh, we can work with entities that receive these funds. They can actually help to support and build up our businesses. So that's that's what we're going to talk about in a little bit is uh, the organizations that are receiving funds from the government that can then take this capital and redeploy it back into small businesses like ourselves. And that's what we're going to get into the next seven people on the list. Um. Bring it up and put it back on the big screen. So minimum capital requirement, statutory minimum is $5 million. Um, and then it goes into some licensing and things like that. It tells you where to submit it, blah, 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 blah. And then let's go over to this next page because I think this is super, super critical for folks. I'm going to put it on the big screen. Uh, and no, Kazar, it's not international SBA. That's no. Small, that's not international SBA. It stands for small business. Where is it at? Da, da, da. Where's the title? Small Business Investment Corporation. Small Business Investment. Here we go. Small Business Investment Company is an SBIC. So it's the SBIC program. But let's 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 just read this. In fact, it says the SBIC is one of the largest. Funds of funds in the United States and can invest up to $4 billion annually. 
It issues debt to venture capitalists, private equity funds, and other vehicles that invest in America's small but scaling businesses. Over the last five years, they've channeled more than 21 billion of capital to 6,000 companies spanning a variety of industries. Now, now that you know this information, wouldn't don't you want to hear from these people? Like, okay, let me ask you guys this. Now that you know, right? I'm gonna drop this in here. All right, now that you know this, don't you want to hear from the people that do this kind of stuff? Like, how many people out there watching, there's 50 people out there watching, how many people out here want to hear from folks that get this government money to then invest this money? Don't you want to know who they are, what their names are, who should you be talking to, where to go? Like, to me, I think that I really... Uh, value and respect everyone's time. And I and I want to say, because of the, again, they've got PTAX, SBDCs, MBDAs, all of these people out here that are already teaching the basic stuff and including myself, right? So we have a lot of stuff on the basic. So getting back to my man's question, do you have videos on the basic content? Absolutely, we do. We've got, we have a whole, on our channel, on my channel, we have a whole playlist on, getting started. So like, I'll just go ahead and answer my man question real quick. Like literally on my channel, we have an entire playlist on how to get started. So we already cover that stuff in places. And it's not that I don't want to talk about it, but it's just, if you get, if you do your research, you'll find it and we have it already covered. Let me just pull it up on the screen so my man can see real quick. But like here, we already have on our channel, all these playlists of where to start. So we've got that covered. But when the government, the SBA in particular, has a program that is one of the largest funds of funds in the United States, those are the people that I want to talk to. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you some of the people that are on that list that would surprise you. Like, you probably don't even know. Hold on. Ooh, I didn't bring it here. I don't have it here. We're going to show you some of the folks that are on that list that I think those are the people that I would have rather seen to come on and show us how do we get this money? Like how my people say, how do you get to the bag, right? Anybody want to know how to get to the bag? How to get to the bag? Somebody drop that in there. How to get to the bag? That's what we, that's what we want to do because that's that's that to me is, Tam, what's going on? Welcome. Tam, today we're showing people how to get to the bag. Essentially, the SBA has got these programs out there that is helping and benefiting folks, but we just don't know about them. And so I want to kind of showcase and highlight some of these programs that <clears throat> are not commonly being shared amongst folks out here. And I want you to know who they are and what they do so that you, right, you can go out and start entertaining some of these people. So this is the nature of the program. Now, Let's look at this list and let me give you a little history on the program. All right, put up on a big screen. SBIC program launched in 1985, has deployed more than 67 billion of capital, made more than 166,000 investments in small businesses, licensed more than 2,100 funds. Look at who's on that list. Look at who's on that list Apple, FedEx. Intel, Tesla, Costco, Whole Foods, Staples, Amgen. If all these people on that list, why are we not talking about them? If all these people are on this list, all the people that are household names, why is no one talking about this? Why is no one telling you guys this stuff? How can we think that all these people made it on their own, that they bet bootstraps, they came up from the ground up? You know, how come nobody is telling you this? Why is it that we have this program that is sponsored by the U.S. federal government, that's the SBA and our tax dollars, and we're making billionaires more billions, and they're not telling nobody? That, this is, should not be a secret. I should not be the first one educating y'all on this. I shouldn't be the one to have to do this. None of this stuff is new. This has been happening 1958, and no one talk about Ask your P-Tech about this and see if they tell you. Ask SBDC, see if they'll tell you. Ask MBDA, see if they'll tell you. 
Make sure y'all give me a like on this video, please. Now, how does the program work? Listen, this program is, I'm telling you, this is gangster. This is, look, this is, this is some real, like, look, U.S. Small Business Administration Office of Investment and Innovation. So now, how does the program work? What are they doing? Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you liking what you're hearing, if you like what you're hearing, if you look, you tell me if you, your, if your person is talking to you about still about SAM registration, this ain't SAM registration day. Sorry. This is not SAM registration day. This is, again, this is where the billionaires play. That's why there's only a few people watching. That's why we don't have 75 people watching because this is the level where the billionaires are playing at. So I'm just, again, you can, I don't care if you take this information and share it with whoever you want to because people don't even know, they don't understand this. They don't know how to do it. They don't even know the stuff exists. So make sure you hit like button on YouTube, hit the like button. All right, listen, the US government, SBIC, right? The investors put up a dollar, right? SBA puts up $2 and now they got $3 to invest. Come on, man. Come on, man. They put up one. SBA puts up two. Now they got three. Come, who, who don't like that math? And y'all think that they give y'all something about a stimulus package. Y'all think they give y'all something about a stimulus and about PPP? Uh-uh. These people really know what's happening. And the folks that understand this, and if you can figure this thing out, you can put shut yourself up for a lot of success in the future.